let me also drink water, okay? Just wait five minutes. Sir. Okay, so let us start. Is it visible? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what I was telling is that Suppose uh, now I already explained you about the threshold order number. So if uh, a, st a small numerical, it might be given uh, for one mark, two mark, okay, to find the threshold order number. Okay. So if in the question, if it is given like this, that if a 40 milliliter sample of water, it is diluted to make 200 milliliter. Okay. So uh, what is the uh, threshold order number? Okay, did you understand my question? If it is given, wait, I cannot annotate it here. Okay, no issue. Okay, so uh, suppose uh, you are, you know, like taking a 40 ml of, uh, if it is in the question, it's given that a 40 ml of sample, it is, you know, like diluted to make 200 ml it loses its uh, taste uh, or other then you find the threshold order number so what actually in uh, practical it's telling you that there is a certain formula okay 
if you remember the formula it, you can easily like do the numerical or also it's very easy like a plus b okay threshold order number is equal to a plus b divided by whole divided by a okay a plus b whole divided by a so what is a plus b and what is uh, a okay so uh, suppose your uh, 40 milliliter sample of water is there okay then it is diluted to 200 milliliter to make it lose its order okay so that is your a plus b okay okay let me wait let me open some okay this is the formula a plus b whole divided by a threshold order number so in the question what it is telling that uh, uh, this sample it is diluted to 200 so a plus b okay a plus b is your 200 okay a plus b is your 200 then what is a a is your initial water sample initial water sample was your 40 okay so what will the order uh, threshold order number will come it will come to be five okay so like this you can find out the threshold order number okay okay then uh, there is also uh, like for public water supplies uh, the there is a permissible limit for taste and other so what is the permissible limit for your public water supplies the water it should be free from order and the threshold order number it should be between one and three that means the uh, water sample uh, it should not uh, exceed three okay if, uh, it should be generally between in between one and three okay next we come to the fourth physical characteristics that is temperature so what is temperature like uh, you know this temperature we do not have any control over the temperature okay so uh, the testing the temperatures of water has usually no practical significance in the sense that it is not usually possible to give any treatment to control the temperature of water just now what i say it's written there okay so but you know generally 10 degrees celsius is maintained uh, for you know like for the uh, water okay 10 degrees celsius and 25 degrees celsius so in between 10 degrees celsius and 25 degrees celsius the temperature should be maintained okay if you know like temperature increases then the biological characteristics of the water it also increases okay so next is your specific conductivity of water okay so why uh, why this specific conductivity how it is uh, important to you know the um, we have to find out the amount of dissolved salts present in water okay to find out the amount of dissolved salts present in water it is you know like estimated by what by measuring the specific conductivity of water okay so the it is determined by means of a like it there is a tester it is known as your portable ionic water tester it is determined by a portable ionic water tester and it is expressed in micromoles per centimeter at 25 degree celsius 
okay what is the unit for specific conductivity how it is uh, expressed as it is expressed as micromoles per centimeter at 25 degree celsius what is mo mo is the unit of conductivity and it is equal to what it is equal to 1 ampere by 1 volt okay so the specific conductivity of water in micromoles per centimeter at 25 degrees Celsius is multiplied by a coefficient generally 0 0.65 so as to uh, directly obtain us uh, it's not needed okay up to here it's important 1 ampere by 1 volt okay then next is your okay physical characteristics is finished now we will come to chemical characteristics okay so what are the chemical characteristics uh, what do you mean by chemical characteristics here chemical tests are done okay chemical tests are done to you know uh, see how much of chemicals are present in that water okay that is your chemical characteristics so what are the chemical characteristics number one is your total solids and suspended solids then will come your ph value then it will come your hardness chloride content, nitrogen content, manganese and other metals contents, dissolved gases. So, all those are your chemical characteristics. Okay. So, number one is your total solids and suspended solids. So, how will you find out total solids and suspended solids? So, what is total solids? Total solids is the summation of suspended solids and dissolved solids. Okay. So, if somebody says says you that there the total solids of this water sample is this much so what do you mean by that that means it is they are telling that the suspended solids and the dissolved solids of the water sample is this much okay so now how will you find out the total amount of suspended solids uh, sorry the total amount of solids uh, present in water by a simple experiment okay by a simple experiment what is the experiment like you were taking a water sample and you uh, evaporate it okay you heat it you evaporate it and then you weigh what is after you know after heating the uh, residue will be left over yes a residue will be left over you just weigh the dry residue you let the residue dry and then you just weigh it that will give your the amount of solids the total amount of solids okay now how will you measure the suspended solids okay suspended solids it can be measured by how you know like you filter the water sample okay you filter the water sample and then whatever residue is left in the filter paper you just weigh it okay that will give you the amount of suspended solids now after getting suspended solids and total solids now you can easily find out the dissolved solids how like total solids is equal to suspended solids plus dissolved solids now you you have the value of total solids you have the value of suspended solids you subtract it okay total solids minus suspended solids that will give you dissolved solids clear so this is a simple experiment of how you find out the total solids and suspended solids now what is the uh, here also everything every characteristics it will be having some you know permissible limits so what is the permissible limit for uh, total uh, uh, solids the total permissible amount of solids in water it is generally limited to how much 500 ppm okay 500 ppm and if it goes a slight higher also then what is the amount it can go up to 1000 ppm so 500 to 1000 ppm is the total permissible amount of solids that can be present in the water okay so next is your ph value ph value of water so what is ph this one is very simple everybody i think i hope you know what is a ph so it is you can say the negative or a reciprocal logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration it is just a definition but what actually ph means the ph of water it actually tells you whether the water it is acidic or it is 
basic okay so if if we want to go by definition then it is your the ph value of water indicates the logarithm of reciprocal of hydrogen ion concentration present in the water okay so does it says you whether the water it is acidic or it is basic that is alkalinity or whether it is neutral okay so if you know if there is a low amount of hydrogen ion concentration that means the ph is higher okay if the ph is higher then the solution is alkaline okay and if there is lower value of ph then this means that the hydrogen ion concentration is higher and the solution is acidic that means you have to remember like this since it is you know 1 by h plus okay since since it is 1 by h plus that means if the hydrogen ion concentration is you know like it is higher okay if the if the hydrogen ion concentration is higher then the ph will be lower and the uh, and the solution will be acidic so i think all of you have uh, in your school days you have you know that for the ph we have a scale of 0 to 14 yes we have a scale of 0 to 14 if it is 0 to 7 then the solution is what acidic or basic anyone if it is 0 to 7 then the scale is acidic or basic yes it is acidic okay if it is 0 to 7 it is acidic 7 is neutral and 7 to 14 is alkaline okay remember like this yes Fabina has answered very good uh, so uh, okay, Sapam also answered. I didn't see. Okay. Uh, okay. So now, uh, um, okay, so up to here, uh, it's about pH. Okay. Okay, but uh, then also, uh, I, I just uh, uh, nowadays actually in school you have done with a uh, you know, like uh, pH scale, this pH, uh, you know, like that, what it is called. One, uh, if when you measure, there is one, uh, this paper, no, the paper is there, you test there. I think you have done for your environmental engineering, this uh, pH test also, you have used that one. So, uh, actually, for uh, engineering purpose, we use a uh, apparatus, okay, we use a uh, apparatus and the name of the apparatus is potentiometer. Okay, we use potentiometer for the measurement of your pH. Okay, here you can see the pH value of water. It can be measured quickly and automatically with the help of a potentiometer. So, the name of the e equipment is potentiometer. Okay, so now next is your, okay, so what is the uh, permissible limit Okay, just wait. One student is waiting in the lobby. Okay. Okay. So, the permissible limit for your drinking water, okay, pH value for public supplies, it is your 6.6 to 8.5. Please remember this. This one is very important. You should know what is the permissible pH value for public water supply. It is 6.6 to 8.5 okay then next is your hardness okay next is your hardness of water so what is hardness you know it is uh, that characteristic which prevents the formation of sufficient ladder or for foam okay so i'm getting locked okay so uh, like why the hardness it is what uh, uh, usually means presence of what causes your hardness okay 
presence of you know like calcium and magnesium salts in water okay if you know in the water there is presence of calcium and magnesium salts then you can say there is hardness of water which you know prevents the formation of sufficient leather or foam okay when such you know like hard waters are mixed with soap so now if uh, there are again two types of hardness of water one is what temporary hardness that can be removed by some processes okay and the other one is your permanent hardness which is very tough to remove okay you cannot remove or it's very hard to remove the permanent hardness okay so what is temporary hardness okay so if bicarbonates and carbonates of calcium and magnesium are present in water okay then it is known as your temporary hardness okay and this type of hardness you know temporary hardness it can be easily removed by you can simply boil the water or you can add some lime to the water then you can remove the temporary hardness okay so main thing is that if bicarbonates and carbonates of calcium and magnesium are present in water then it is known as your temporary hardness also known as your carbonate hardness okay then on the other hand if sulfates chlorides and nitrates of calcium or magnesium are present in water they are termed as permanent hardness or non carbonate hardness and this type of hardness it cannot be removed at all by any kind of boiling the water okay uh, they cannot be uh, uh, you know removed by simple methods you have to go to some broader uh, treatments like you can say there is zeolite softening okay we will come back uh, we will come that to later okay now we will not understand we have gone through that in fifth sem but then also we will uh, learn this about when we will go to treatment part okay so it can it requires some special treatments then only this permanent hardness or non carbonate hardness it can be removed okay so now uh, to measure the hardness okay we have uh, i think if you remember we have done some experiments like uh, what is the name that is edta uh, acha have you people uh, gone through any environmental experiments laboratory experiments cannot remember if last semester i don't think environmental uh, practical was there okay you people have not got this is like new course for aict right so there i, I don't know why there is no environmental experiment uh, this practical okay so, okay anyways uh, this uh, hardness it is you know like there is a experiment uh, known as your edta experiment okay edta you can see here capital letter so there is one uh, experiment by which you can in the laboratory you can measure the amount of hardness okay so you have to do some titration and all uh, so like that you can measure the hardness anyways so now you uh, there is one certain formula by which you can uh, find find out uh, the amount of total hardness as uh, calcium carbonate okay so this is the formula you see this formula i don't want to dictate it you just this one, this one is the uh, formula okay so now okay uh, let, let us uh, wrap it up here today i am feeling tired actually mm, one numerical i will explain it to you in the next class this numerical is there and all about your chloride content and nitrogen content is all there okay, by next class i will uh, finish it up all your uh, characteristics of water okay and i will start about the treatment part okay do you know all these things but then also i have to go because it's in the syllabus okay
so this one uh, i will share it uh, in your group okay so that in your exam you can study here okay so let me take your roll numbers Just wait, okay? And okay, roll number three is there? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, roll number one. Okay, roll number one. Roll number one. Then two is not there, I guess. Three. Okay, yes, then, okay, then can you uh, tell serially uh, one by one? Can you go on serially after three? Four, ma'am. Okay, four. Then? Uh, seven. Seven. Then? Nine. Okay, nine. Then? Twelve. Twelve, okay. Then? Twenty. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. 20. Okay. Okay, 20. Then? 21. 21. Okay, who else just now said? 18. 18. Yes, 18. Okay, 18. Then 21 I have given. Then? 22. 22. Okay. Next? 26. 26. Okay, next? 30. Three zero, okay. Then twenty nine. Twenty nine, okay. Okay. Then after thirty. Twenty nine, thirty done. Then forty five, ma'am. Forty five, okay. Then next. Ma'am fifty four. Fifty four, okay. Then. Ma'am, 76. 76, okay. Ma'am, 84. 84, okay. Then? 88. Okay, 88, then 78, okay. Then? 90, ma'am. 90. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then? 92. 93, ma'am. 93 okay then 92 92 okay 95 95 okay then 107 okay then 109 okay then Anyone else is there? Okay, let me. Yes, one 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 two. Okay, one one two. Anyone else? Uh, Ma'am, uh, roll number seventy seven. Seventy seven. Okay. Okay. Who else? Anyone else is left out? Let me read your roll numbers. Okay, you listen. One, three, four, seven. 9, 12, 18, 20, 21, 22, 26, 29, 30, 45, 54, 76, 77, 78, 84, 88, 90, 92, 93, 95, 107, 109, 112.
Anybody is left out? Nobody, na? Okay, then I shall end the meeting then. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, we, we shall meet in the next class, okay? Thank you.